Okay, so we're starting to feel pretty good about eliminating the redundancy in our post by using a custom blog post element so that this post here is using the same code that if I click through and view my post is also generating this. So that's great. We feel really good about that. But what what I really don't feel good about is how ugly this date object is being rendered. So I think we should go ahead and start talking about something called Aurelia value converters, which is basically something that can be used to make things look nicer to users uh, in your view. And uh, conversely, it can also be used to send data back to your view model in a different way from the view. But we're going to start by first thinking about the former case where we'd like to show data a little nicer to uh, to people viewing our uh, web page. So uh, there's a few ways we could do this. So I'm just going to navigate back to the code base here and I will go to our custom element and check out in our view file our HTML here that we have our post dot created at uh, property that we could uh, try to use some JavaScript date object method here to try to make it look nicer uh, and that would be okay but uh, one big issue with that is if we wanted our dates to look consistent site-wide uh, we would have to then apply that same logic to a bunch of different places and if we wanted that to then change at some other point in time yeah we'd have to go back and change every single instance in which we kind of rendered the date in that format and that really wouldn't be efficient uh, so what we can take advantage of as i mentioned is aurelia's value converters so if you look in the resource folder here uh, there is this subfolder for value converters and that's where Aurelia likes to encourage you to put your value converters once again because uh, if you use Aurelia's command line interface there is a generator that will actually create value converters for you so that's what we're going to use right now let's go ahead and hop over to our command line and stop the application if you're running it and let's use the generator let's say AU generate we're going to generate a value converter and our value converter is just going to be called date format so we can go ahead and hit enter and it says we've created a date format go back to our code base and we have this date format file here great as I had mentioned uh, you can use this format this uh, value converter to change the format of something being presented to users on the view so it has this to view method and then you can also do it from the view so information on your view that you want to be different in your view model you can use this from view method uh, we're just going to be using this to view method to change how our date uh, looks to our user so what i'd like to do now actually is instead of using this built-in uh, JavaScript date object method uh, set, um, which is really not that great, not very flexible. I'm going to go ahead and import the moment.js library, which uh, is really good. It, some people might think it's a little bit bloated for this purpose, but uh, I ha also have an ulterior motive to do this, which is to show you how to install libraries using the Aurelia command line, because this is something that can be very helpful as well. So let's go back to our command line. And instead of saying npm install, typically if we wanted to install moment, we might think we'd do npm install moment, uh, which is fine. We can do that. But we can also say au install moment. And if I do that, what will happen is that it's going to use npm to install the package. And it says installing packages right now. And then once it goes through that, what it's going to do is uh, you get a lot of configuration information and, and, uh, and whatnot here. But what it'll do is if you go back to the code and look in our Aurelia project 
uh, folder and go to Aurelia.json, scroll down to our dependencies, and at the end, you can see, aha, it has added moment for me. So this actually takes a step out of the install process, uh, which is really awesome. It's a really great feature that's been uh, added to the CLI. I'm not totally positive if it works for more complex dependencies. Uh, I think Bootstrap 4 would be a good example, and I probably need to see how that would work. Uh, but just know if you're bringing in a package, this can be a great way to not really have to mess with the configuration in the Aurelia JSON file. Just, just one command in the CLI, and you're good to go. So uh, if we go back to our date format value converter, Okay, now we know we have moment. Let's go ahead and, and import it here. So we can just say import moment from moment. Uh, and you'll notice since moment is the default export, I can import it like this. If it were a named export, I might put the uh, braces around it. But So I can just import moment from moment. And then within this to view method, all I have to do is say return and I'm gonna use the moment library. And I'm going to pass the value here. This value is going to be the date that I am trying to convert. Uh, and then I will use moment, uh, the moment library's format method. And uh, you can just take my word for it, but this is going to uh, format uh, our our date object nicely so we'll have a month and then we'll have a day but with like a th and then we'll have the year uh, we would also probably like to have the hour and the minute of the post and then also an indication of am or pm so again taking in a value uh, from our uh, format converter and then we are just returning that value transformed in some way. Pretty, uh, pretty simple stuff there. So that's all we really need to do. We don't actually have to worry about this from view method. Uh, maybe we would use it for something else, but I can't really think of anything right now. So if I now go back to my blog post HTML file, like any other resource, I can go ahead and just require this value converter. So I'll say require from and then I'll go back to my value converters. And within my value converters folder, this is just called date format. And so we've brought it in. And so now to use it to actually apply that format conversion to our post doc created at, we simply need to use this pipe and then use date format in this, uh, this camel casing here. Um, and that's, that's just a uh, convention. Uh, it's totally configurable if you want, but uh, just because if I look back at my value converter here, because it is date format value converter, so the at least the convention is if it is date format value converter, then you would refer to it in the other view as date format. Um, likewise, if it were, you know, time format value converter, it might be time uh, so just just a, a easy convention there to, to hold on to anyways so we have now simply applied our format uh, our, our date format value converter here just using this pipe and putting date format there so I'm gonna go back to my command line and start up the app again and once that's running I will go check out the uh, web application and make sure that looks nice now. So I'm going to give this a refresh. And there we go. So now it says December 1st, 2017, at 12 a.m. Uh, by Nick Shally. And I can go back home and, uh, you know, they're all formatted in a much, much nicer way now. Uh, so that's, that's value converters in a nutshell. Um, and what's really great about that now is I have all of that logic to format my date sitting in our value converter. If I ever need to use that somewhere else in my application, I just need to require the value converter uh, like this, 
and then use our little pipe convention here and say date format and we'll be good to go and so if in the future i say well it would actually look better if i you know put a comma here i don't know and took that out well then it applies to everywhere that you've used the value converter um, and you don't have to go through you know the exercise of pulling out your hair and going everywhere in the app to to make that change